Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be tackling a job that is a damn sight simpler than the uh, the last job that we did with the uh, with the VTEC valve clearance. In this video, we are going to be fitting a GI Pro um, gear indicator from Heeltech. Uh, this little box here, what it does, it'll display the, the, the gear that you are in as you're riding along. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward to install. So what I'm going to do is uh, run through the process, uh, we'll fit the wiring loom and then we'll get this mounted up. In order to mount it, what I'm going to use is this little, uh, this little 3D printed um, bucket effectively with a little ring. And as you can see, it's perfectly shaped to fit into the, um, the bracket that fits onto the Hiss um, device on, on this VFR. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the USB ports because Although they've been on there for quite some time, I've never actually used them for anything, so they're fairly redundant. So I'll remove the USB ports um, and then fit this in its place. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so I'll put the, uh, the display element of the device uh, to one side for the moment because we don't need it yet. Um, what we do need to do though is install the loom uh, for it. And what we have here is like a piggyback connector uh, at this end. We've got this connector here where that display actually connects into. And then we've got another fly-off lead here which needs tapping into a cable from the ECU. But I'll have more on that uh, shortly. Okay, so where this connects is down here underneath the coolant reservoir. If I pull this back, you can see this bunch of connectors just here. The one we're looking for is this one here. It's the only one in of that shape, so you shouldn't be able to get it wrong. It's the only one in this bunch of four connectors that uh, that um, is the right is the right shape for it. Now, this connector here, if you um, turn the ignition on and spin the rear wheel by hand, you should be able to see um, something on display. What I'll do actually, I'll demonstrate what I'm actually on about. If I turn the ignition on, and then uh, if, we look at the, uh, if we look at the display, and I turn the wheel, you can see, I can I managed to get one or two mile an hour there as I, uh, as I rotated it. Now, if I disconnect the cable, Come on, come apart. There we go. If I disconnect the cable and then try it again, and again turn the rear wheel, you'll see I can't get anything displayed. So we know we've got the right connector because that's the one we're looking for from the uh, from the speed sensor. Okay. In order to fit it, simply take one end. Again, it'll only go in one way. Connect that one up like so that one up like so and that is all we need to do down here behind the fairing so what i need to do is obviously route all these cables the this one's going to go up bottle controls and this one needs to go over to the uh, the ecu which is on the other side of the bike and we'll look at that next what i will point out that this this particular kit is designed for 02 to 05 model uh, VFRs. The, the 06 onwards um, didn't have this, this uh, fly-off lead, it was simply a plug-and-play solution which is a far, far easier um, method of install, so um, that's worth bearing in mind. If you've got an 06 onwards, then uh, it's a different kit that you need to buy and doesn't need any of this, uh, any of this installing. So, so yeah, so what I'm going to do, um, I will lift the tank up because I'm going to route the cables under the tank, keep them nice and tidy and out of the way. Um, and then uh, I'll bring you back in and we'll have a look at the ECU connector. Okay, so I've got the cable rooted. I mean, that's, there's no point in me filming that because you can route it any way you want. Uh, but as you can see, I've got it so that the cables come up on the inside of the frame, round the front of the airbox, and then this one comes back down under the frame because this is where the ECU is, and that's what we're going to be looking at in a moment. And here is the connector for the actual indicator itself, just there. And as you can see, there's plenty of uh, spare cable. Um, I mean, to be honest, 
where this is going to be mounted on that bracket there's plenty of cable here so I don't actually need all of that so I'll probably tidy it up nicely put a zip tie on it and then just tuck it into this um, this gargantuan space behind the headstock where all the cable in for the, um, the heated grips and all that sort of stuff is uh, is currently stored because uh, there's absolutely loads of room down there okay so next what we need to do is we need to connect this cable here into the cable on the ECU so what I'm going to do first before we uh, start messing around with the ECU I am going to disconnect the battery okay so with the battery disconnected what we need to do is we need to look at this this connector just here this gray one on the ECU and it's disconnected by pressing on the back there's a little button that we're going to push in with my finger I'll show you when I get it off press it in and then simply maneuver the connector out it is a bit stiff but it does come and there you can see the button that we're, we're trying to push in in order to release it from from the ECU itself okay so we need to splice this wire into one of these and the one we're looking for on this particular bike bearing in mind this is the VFR 800 that we're, de we're demonstrating this on and this wiring um, colouring will only apply to this bike. I mean it may apply to others but I'm specifically talking about this so don't necessarily assume that it will be the same colour on your bike. It may be, it may be uh, totally different. But the one we're looking for is yellow with a green stripe. Now there is, uh, there's two similar cables in this. There's a green with a yellow stripe which is this one just here. Green with a yellow stripe. As you can see, predominantly green, thin yellow stripe. And then there's yellow with a green stripe, which is that one. As you can see, that cable is predominantly yellow with a green stripe. Do not get them mixed up because you won't get the, uh, the effect that you're actually after. And obviously you could damage something if you get it wrong. So bear in mind, yellow with a green stripe, not green with a yellow stripe. So that's the cable we've uh, we've identified the cable that we want um, want to splice into. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a, a, a sharp knife and I'm just going to trim back this this tape here just to give me some uh, some room to work. And then what I'll do, I will um, splice this cable in. Um, I'm not going to bother filming that because it's just a little bit of soldering and a bit of heat shrink. Um, but once I've got it spliced in, I will uh, I'll bring it back in and then we'll look at the setup. Okay. So I've um, spliced that cable into the, uh, the yellow with the green stripe, as, uh, as I said a moment ago, um, and it's all reconnected, battery's reconnected. So what we're ready to do now is connect up the, um, the gear indicator and teach it the gear positions. So what we need to do um, first is obviously just take the, uh, take the unit like this, connect it up, simple as that. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna lay this up here for the moment because um, it doesn't matter where it is in order for it to uh, to learn the uh, the, gear, the gear positions. Um, then I'm going to drop the tank down. Drop the tank down. And then I'm going to turn on the ignition. Now, when I turn on the ignition, uh, provided everything's uh, connected up correctly and it's got power and all that good stuff, it should count down from six down to one. Then it should display an L and that should start flashing. That's basically in learner mode. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go around the other side of the bike because I need access to the gear shifter. Then we're gonna turn the ignition on and count down six to one to L. Okay, what I'm gonna do, turn the ignition on and there we go. It's cut it down from six to one and it's now flashing L. What I need to do, start the bike and it's flashing. Uh, as you can see it's flashing faster now what it's done now is it's checked the idle speed and it's happy and now it wants me to put it into first gear so clutch in into first gear let it out now what we need to do Bring the throttle up to about 4,000 RPM. Next gear. Second. Same, about 4,000 RPM. Next gear. Third.
first and as you can see the indicator has followed it i don't know why but for some reason on third it, it wasn't picking it up anyway there we are that is the uh, the indicator um programmed it now knows where the gears are on the bike so everything's good so what i need to do next obviously is i need to mount this up where it's going to go so I'll, I'll get it mounted up and then i'll bring you in and show you what i've done okay that is the installation absolutely complete uh, as you can see i've installed it into the bracket removing the usb uh, the usb ports that i did have and i think you'll agree that it looks absolutely brilliant in that um 3d printed little um little housing there um if i put the key in and turn it on you'll see it should count from one all the way up to six and then indicating that we're in uh, in neutral okay if i then um started the bike the uh the uh, gear indicator does count up through all the gears as it uh, as it should um, so I'm confident that um, we're fully uh, we're uh, fully um, working and everything's all good so I'm happy with that the installation was pretty straightforward with only that um, small bit of soldering on the ECU cable but as I said earlier on if you have a post uh, 2006 on bike um, you shouldn't need to do that at all um, if you're interested what I'll do I'll uh, I'll put a link to the gear indicator that I've bought in the uh, in the description below uh, I'll probably I'll try and find the one for the post 06 model as well if, uh, if you're interested um, but yeah the nice bits of kit never actually had a gear indicator on any of my bikes before um, a lot of modern bikes do have them um, straight out of the factory so uh, yeah it's um it's a nice little feature uh, and yeah it'll, it'll probably stop me uh clutching seventh in the future which i do on occasion do um anyway guys hopefully you uh, you enjoyed this video it was pretty easy compared to the last video um and it was it's nice to have something pretty straightforward and simple to do anyway um leave a comment like subscribe and i'll see you all again for the next video take care bye bye now